You what up, fam? What is everyone wearing today? You know me, dog. I'm always dressed in the finest suits. Not only do I tower over everyone, no offense, George, I also have the best style. What? No, you don't. Don, you wear the same outfit every day. What's wrong with that? Ah, ha, ha. See, there is no style here. To have style, you must be able to pull off different looks and types of clothing, and I am the only one here who does not wear the same exact fucking thing 24-7. You're right, I can't even debate that. GW is the flyest among us. Now let's get into ranking different types of clothes. Let's start with the suit and tie. Wonderful. The epitome of fashion and professionalism. So comfortable, looks great, and I even hop into my pool with this on. Dude, what the hell? This was a bad idea, Joe. We can't rank clothing types. Fuck you, George. The suit and tie is pretty awesome when I'm out and about. Always makes you the best dressed in the room. Yeah, that's definitely a true statement, Barack. But it does get awfully uncomfortable. Plus, the shoes make the fit. So the suit itself is not the end all, be all. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. I always prefer a suit and a sweater over a suit and a tie. You big baby. And that's why you don't get any pussy. Gentlemen, enough. Let's go A tier. The only drawback is that it can be a little uncomfortable. For the most part, suits are comfortable, stylish, and keeps you at a good temperature. Next up, what do we think about sweatpants? I'm gonna puke. Sweatpants? They're the comfiest fucking pants ever. Why wouldn't you go S tier? Obama just loves gray sweatpants and sweatpants season, you freaky little transformer. Ha ha, yeah, heard you, George. Sweatpants are only worn by people who masturbate at least three times a day and can't sit still for more than 30 minutes. Pair these with some open-toe shoes, and you have yourself a complete loser. Yeah, I can't see myself wearing sweatpants. I know you said they're comfortable, but not when I wear my huge diaper. Oh, man, Joe's fat diaper bulge in a pair of sweatpants would have me on the floor laughing. Shut up, meanie. Okay, sweatpants are going D tier like every time I wear them. Yes, they're comfortable, but then my body won't settle for anything less comfy. It makes me grumpy and harder to please, and I just can't go out wearing sweatpants all the time. Okay, next up, we have polo shirts. S tier, this is golf fashion 101. It's a polo shirt, Donald, not a fucking golf shirt. The origins of this shirt go back to polo. Yeah, look, there's even a polo player on the shirt. Uh, these are cool and comfortable while still being somewhat professional, but something about them just screams white privilege. Whoa, Don, how can a shirt scream white privilege? It's how you portray yourself, George, but that statement was totally fake news. Such fake news. I'm not privileged whatsoever. What time does my private jet take off again? Pathetic. Were you throwing these, Joe? I'd go B tier. No, George, you dick face. I'm going straight to S tier for these college sports shirts, golfing shirts, corporate shirts. I mean, they all stand for comfort and are the pinnacle of business casual. Great for any and every use, and not too thin, like sweatpants, where my dangalong will show through when I spill my coffee on them. What the fuck? Dangalong. Yes, my dangalong. Now, what do you guys think about jeans? Oh, jeans are for the common folk. I mean, all of my contractors wear jeans every day. But if you're not dealing with sewage, fiberglass, and other rough materials, I think they are the dumbest thing you could possibly wear. Cap, jeans have always stood for casual, everyday wear. Resilient, comfortable, and look good. Gotta go S tier. Jeans are definitely not S tier Obama. Nothing says I'm an average human being like a pair of jeans. Plus, getting a pair that fits well is like trying to land a plane between two towers. Jesus Christ, George. He has a great point. These almost never fit right, and they are extremely uncomfortable for your balls. For women, I'd assume it would be better since they don't have copper stitching chafing their nut sacks. Anyway, I'm throwing these into D tier because I always feel buyer's remorse after buying a pair of jeans. Next, what do you guys think about sweaters? Sweaters are awesome. Sweaters are the best. Like, man, if you're fat like me, they really create a flattering shape. Can confirm. And sweaters are always super warm. However, I am levels above you all in terms of fashion, and sweaters can be itchy. Plus, they get too hot most of the time. Yes, they do, if you're overweight. Good one, Obama. Fuck you, bro. That was just plain mean. Now look, the sweater can be worn with anything, and it looks sexy and cute. Can't be worn in the summer, though, so that has to deduct some points. Very seasonal, I agree. And Obama, fuck you again for that comment before. Let's not hold grudges, Trump, you little bitch. Sweaters are the best winter wear, and they always smell amazing. What the fuck? Huh? What kind of sweaters are you smelling? All of them. Now let's throw these into A tier and move on. What do we think about plain white tees? You mean the band that sings Hey There, Delilah? Delilah. Such a made-up name. Who the fuck knows anyone named Delilah? Sounds like a flower that was genetically deformed into a vine. Incredibly specific metaphor, Joe. That was definitely crack-inspired. 
The plain white tee is basically the uniform of boomers. It stood the test of time for being a symbol of giving no fucks. Yes, the toughest and baddest of them all wear plain white tees. It's like saying, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want to do all the time. Yeah, true that. These are always worn under regular clothes, too, to keep warm. Got to go S tier. S tier it is. These will always be the most useful shirts. Real G wear plain white tees. You ever heard that saying? No, you just made that up. Of course I did. I'm a made up character after all. Okay, what do you guys think about bowling shirts? Bowling and bowling shirts are for nerds. Completely agree with you. It's like they tried to make stripes and collared shirts both ugly at the same time. Feel like bowling shirts are for people with imposter syndrome, too. Like they turn into their fake persona as soon as those thick, ugly stripes and loose fit come on. Yeah, I wouldn't be caught dead in one of these. Trash tier, bye bye. Okay, now what about collared shirts? Essential. Can be worn with a suit, without a suit, it doesn't matter, but they are light, comfortable, and always allow you to show up for any occasion and not be under or over dressed. Huge W for these shirts. They really are a lifesaver in terms of utility. You never have to think about too much. Just throw on the collared shirt and head to the function. True. Doesn't anyone else hate having to wear undershirts with these though? If I don't, the deodorant just stains the shirt. No, just you. I also don't really love how you have to keep ironing the shirt and take it to the dry cleaners. But then again, you don't necessarily have to do that. Stop complaining, you broke back bitch! Whoa now, yes, I think I'll go S tier everyday attire for any situation. Now, what do you guys think about chinos? Khakis are quite nice, but why wouldn't you just wear suit pants? Yeah, chinos make you look like you're trying too hard. You wear them in casual situations, but seem like you are trying to one-up everyone. The collared shirt doesn't do that. Definitely feel you there, GW. These are pretty douchey, and it seems like they're always too thin and too stiff. Definitely too stiff can't really bend your legs too well. Plus, most of the outfits that you're gonna have in your closet won't match well with the khakis. Then there's the decision of what shoes to put on with them. Always confuses me more than usual. I'm gonna throw these into D tier. How do you guys feel about joggers? What are joggers? Get with the times, old man. Yeah, bro, the times are tough, and people rebranded sweatpants to be named joggers. That's the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, the design changed a little bit too. They have some more flair. Flair? I want to eliminate sweatpants of all forms from the open market. No class. Joggers aren't exactly sweatpants, but they're made of similar material. The ones I have on right now actually are too stiff, just like the chinos do. Like it's stretchy, but my kneecaps still feel trapped. Yes, and I'm not sure why they decided to shorten the length and make the fabric too thick. I gotta throw them into D tier. They're just a little bit cooler than sweatpants. All righty, that is it for our ultimate clothing tier list. Tell us what you want to see next in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a huge shout out to Bill, Ray, Ronald, and Lisa for joining the membership program. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>